slow? Do you know what happens to a man who doesn't pay his debts? His boots catch fire. Why do you howl when it is I who am bitten? What am I, Mr. Lambert? Bitten, Mr. Fennyman. How badly bitten, Mr. Freeze? Twelve pounds, one shilling and fourpence, Mr. Fennyman, including interest. Ah, I can pay you. When? Two weeks, three weeks at the most. Oh, for pity's sake. Take them out. Where will you find? Sixteen pounds, five shillings and ninepence. Including interest in three weeks. I have a wonderful new play. Put them back in. Oh, it's a comedy. Cut off his nose. It's a new comedy by William Shakespeare. And his ears. And a share. We will be partners, Mr. Fennyman. Partners? It's a crowd tickler. Mistaken identities, shipwreck, pirate king, a bit with a dog, and love triumphant. I think I've seen it. I didn't like it. But this time it is by Shakespeare. What's it called? Romeo and Ethel, the pirate's daughter. Good title. Play takes time. Find the actors. Rehearsals. Let's say we open in two weeks. That's what? 500 grundlings at tuppence a head. In addition, 400 backsides at threepence. Penny extra for cushions. Call it uh, 200 cushions. Say, two performances for safety. How much is that, Mr. Freeze? 20 pounds to the penny, Mr. Fennyman. Correct. But I have to pay the actors and the author. Share of the profits. There's never any. Of course not. Oh, Mr. Fennyman, I think you might have hit upon something. Sign there. So, Romeo and Ethel, the pirate's daughter. Almost finished? Oh, without doubt, he's completing it at this very moment. <laughs>